Somali Family Safety Task Force. Communities Rise. Southeast Seattle Education Coalition. VQ. Nurturing Roots. Villa Comunitaria. Rainer Beach Action Coalition. Haida Roots. Mujer al Volante. Superación Constante. Para los niños. Mother Africa. Egypt. Godfrey. One America. Brothers United in Leadership Development. Eat with Muslims. Open doors for multicultural families. Kenya Women's Association. Filipino Community of Seattle. Somali Community Service of Seattle. Yes, Foundation. Eritrean Association in Greater Seattle. The Khmer Community of Seattle, King County. The Iraqi Community Center of Washington. Pacific Islander Community Association of Washington. White Center Community Development Association. The Duwamish River Cleanup Coalition. Black Governance Task Force. Colectiva Legal del Pueblo. Ethiopia. We're striving for a healthy, equitable environment for people and also wildlife. We are committed to address basic needs, maintaining the cultural value of Eritreans and the other East African refugees and the immigrants. Support African refugees and immigrant women and their families to reach their highest potential. To reimagine um, agriculture for Black folks as a source of healing and not a source of trauma. Our mission is to find ways to economically empower Black communities. Our mission is to address the critical issues that affect the well-being of residents in Rainier Beach. Our work is to address both the, the basic safety of our community and the systems and policies and beliefs that makes us unsafe. Creating visibility and space for LGBTQ Vietnamese folks. Neighbor to neighbor is um, one of the, the biggest seed funds that, that supports community-based organizations. Like ours. Neighbor to Neighbor is really special. It's really based on relationship building and capacity building in the community. Our experience with uh, Neighbor to Neighbor uh, dates back to when we were uh, just starting out as a, an organization. I have not seen one organization that cares that much, even when you're walk, talking to them about the ground, they will help you. They will give you technical support if they can. Now when they do site visit, we really like it and we get a lot and a lot of support and we have the chance to explain uh, what the need for the community. There's a flexibility there and I think that's very important, you know, for grassroots organizations. Las organizaciones no se tienen que adaptar a lo que Neighbor to Neighbor quiere. Neighbor to Neighbor siempre se adapta a, lo, a las necesidades de las, de las organizaciones. Neighbor to Neighbor is one of our first two grants we received and today we have more than 47 staff. Neighbor to Neighbor has been an amazing support in moments that the organization needed the most and today we have 18 staff and, and five different programs. The Neighbor to Neighbor they understand more of the like small non-privates. Neighbor to Neighbor is an incubator for helping um, new nonprofits get off the ground. These are the nonprofits that are closest to the community, coming up from communities of color. They trust us as community members that we could really make an impact in our community because we were part of the community. I'm expert in the African community because I understand the culture, I understand the fears, I understand, they, they will open up to me. That's what creating trust is about. It's not just the money, it's the belief in a vision and in the power of something new. Neighbor to neighbor uh, acknowledges the power of community. And community's everything, you know what I mean? It's like, if you ain't got community, we don't got nothing. My struggles and my pain and, and challenges, it keeps me going and which drives me to continue to do good for community, for our queer babies, for our youth, our, our future generations, and then also for a better tomorrow. Changing somebody's life, you can't, it, it don't get no better than that. We envision a world where young people are free to be their whole selves and have the relationships and healing they need to live and thrive. The Colectiva's dream, it's not to have this this system in place that we have to fight against. The world that we would like to create in our community is number one is peace, loving, uh, get to know, trust each other. Ensuring that the community is empowered both politically and culturally. Just hearing our, our babies speak our language freely. All of our young people to be able to see themselves as leaders um, in their community and be able to um, 
make the change that they want to see. Where queer and trans people don't need to pick one identity over another and where we can just authentically be ourselves. The world that we're wanting to create is a world that is really guided by our ability to love on each other. And so that's really our goal, right? Wellness, uh, building wellness, building power, building cultural home.